If in doubt, find another way to say it. This is probably the thing that made me think about doing, the, doing this event. This is the copywriter's oldest trick in the book. And what it means is this. If you find yourself stuck in a position, which is surprisingly often, where the grammatically correct thing to say sounds wrong, just sounds weird. But the thing that, that you would naturally say and write, people are going to pick holes, grammar pedants are going to pick holes in it, and you're stuck in that catch-22 situation, put the sentence down, walk away from it, and find a completely different way to say the sentence. Okay? Should we try some? Okay. Now, this is arguable anyway, because bands, they, you can say the singular, you can say they're plural, but in this example, let's say the Beatles. This is a singular entity. You know, the Beatles as a thing. The Beatles was a phenomenon. That just sounds weird, because a thing that sounds like a plural in this context is a singular. So, how else could you say that? Uh, the phenomenon that, the phenomenon that was the Beatles. Perfect. The phenomenon that was the Beatles. The Beatles had a phenomenal impact. You know, wherever you were in the world, everyone knows the Beatles. There are a million different ways that you can say that without getting into this uh, was, were kind of uh, problem. Let's try another one. Oh, the beautiful fewer less thing. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a pedant thing. Less is almost never a problem in real life. Um, but but pe some pedants just, you know, pe some people just hate the word less to uh, talk about something that is, that is an, a, a number, you know, rather than yeah, an amount. Um, yeah, so we're not going into too much kind of grammar pedantry tonight, but you kind of get the less fewer thing, right? So less, it, so less is for things where it's kind of an amount of something. Fewer is a thing where it's numbers and you're counting. So how else could I say that, Dave? I have all these guitars for 5,000 pounds. The guitars cost me five, yeah, guitars cost me 5,000 pounds. Trudy? <laughs> 5,000 pounds worth of guitar. Yeah, exactly. There are you know, many different ways to, to, to say that, you know, the guitar. Oh, these guitars cost me five thousand pounds. Okay, let's try. I think we've got one more. This is interesting because this is an actual example, and this is—it's um, actually—it's kind of not about the, the apostrophe here and whether it's a singular and it's a plural. This is, you know, whether it's cars. In, in this instance, it's actually about for, was forklift trucks, but it could be cars. Mitsubishi, in their brand values, you can't. Uh, do it with an apostrophe S, so the mystery bis is, is this, so you can't use the apostrophe and you can't pluralise it. So more than one, you can't say that we have several Mitsubishis. You, you, in their brand values, their usage guideline says that you cannot say that. So anyone else, how else could we say that? If we're talking about, say, Mitsubishi trucks. Or, sorry? Mitsubishi yeah, the Mitsubishi's. Mitsubishi handles edge. It, yeah, we could be talk, we talk about several of them. So it, it could be the, the Mitsubishi the Mitsubishi trucks handling is excellent. We could have the Mitsubishi singular handles ex excellently. Each truck benefits from Mitsubishi's famous handling, or or whatever. Many different ways that you can say it. You don't have to get stuck in a in a quandary. Okay, pay attention, you horrible freeloader. Since you're obviously so intent on stealing all of our copywriting wisdom, you might as well click these videos, here, here, or here. For a cheat sheet on avoiding common grammar errors, try the I in the corner. Or, if you'd like to make sure you've got everything, then try the subscribe link somewhere beneath my groin.